Nintendo. So what we have in front of us is the Z Game Editor Visualizer. This comes in every version of FL Studio, I think. Leave a comment below and let me know if I'm wrong. That is fine. But it's a really strong tool for setting up visuals for your beats and such. And I'm going to go ahead and play the, this beat real quick. And I'm going to start from the middle of the beat. So if you haven't noticed, uh, this version of FL right now that I'm using is FL Studio 20. So there are some added additions, some great additions added to this. So make sure that you uh, update if you really want to get the best use out of this thing. Anyways, here. So this visualizer, of course, is based off of a theme. So one of the stronger tips I can give you is like use a strong name so you can have a strong theme for your beat when you make your visualizer. So with that, of course, the name of the beast is called Game Boy, so I made everything Game Boy themed. Of course, this visual of me being Mario, it was made by a graphic artist named Daniel Lyon. I will have his information in the uh, description box, so make sure that you check him out. We're going to start with a new one right here because we're going to do one from scratch. I think that will help everybody out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up one right now since we're in a new project. So you can editor visualizer. I'm going to go ahead and detach here because detaching would help with the process you know if you are to add anything else after this because if you do uh, that of course the visualizer control panel will close and that can be a little bit annoying here so i'm going to go into my channel rack here i'm going to go ahead and add a audio clip uh, you don't have to do it but i do recommend that you do do that you know uh, if you have a weaker computer my computer isn't weak by per se but you know this would save a lot of CPU. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the track that I have selected here. And I am going to uh, paste it into the playlist here. I'm going to go ahead and move this over a little bit here. Here, let me go ahead and uh, select the right one here, scenes. Uh, using the scenes, uh, as you can see, the CPU is really choppy right now within uh, the screen recording. Uh, it gets massively choppy, and I have used this in a recent visualizer, if you use that, uh, because a lot of this stuff is very heavy, like he graphics heavy. So you got to be careful when you're using these right here. Here's a website I want to give you. Uh, it will be in the description box, of course. And we're going to type in video game backgrounds. Sorry, I have it typed in up here, but I'm just going to type it in just for video sake. Type in video game backgrounds. Uh, one thing I do want to point out here is that um, FL Studio does not read GIF files. So we're going to learn how to make this uh, these GIF files that I pull up into an MP4 file. FL uses video files, so we can do that. So I want to pull up this Giphy 8, Giphy.com, of course. You know, I don't, you can rename it to whatever you want. And now I'm going to go to this uh, website, which is easygif.com. And go to GIF to MP4 converter. So we're going to go there. We're going to choose a file. We're going to type in uh, this into the browser. You can look it up. Here, I'm going to the files. Type, we're going to type in Gilfy. This is in the download folder. And I see number eight here. Now I'm going to choose to up upload. And we're going to convert that GIF into an MP4 file so FL can use it. Go down here, save it. Once the file is saved, now we're going to go ahead and pull that up in FL. So now you're going to go to add videos. So you need to add this. So you need to populate this video list here. But look at my hard drive right now. Holy crap, it's struggling. Now we're going to go and look in there. And we're going to look for the name of the file. All right, so the content has been added in here uh, via the add videos files. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the main. And I am going to select that particular background. Uh, you want to select from the image effects image. And from here, you can go and select your image. And there you have it. It's right there. Now, you might have to do some resizing. Sometimes you might even have to stretch this thing out so it will fit the full size. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to width, change the width here, and just, you know, kind of make it some type of symmetrical or whatnot. So we have this nice waterfall that's moving in the background here, and that's pretty dope. Uh, the next thing, of course, we can add a picture in front of there, 
and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add a picture in front of it i don't know what i'm gonna do i'll probably just put in like samurai or something like that uh anime sam samurai but we're gonna add a layer so you just click on the plus sign to add a layer of course and now we're just gonna prep it up uh ahead of time and add an image the image is gonna have like this because there's no image there for it to to be in front of go back to add a content and then we're gonna go to google and then now we're gonna go and just type in, I don't know, Samurai. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna be more specific and type in anim Anime Samurai. And we're gonna type in PNG. Now the PNG, we're gonna look for something uh, specific here that will be pretty dope. And we see, a of course, a lot of things here. Being, keep in mind again, that using uh, these visuals off of Google does not grant you the right to be able to make money off it. So you better be careful when you do this stuff. Of course, you see that certain people have their names and stuff on it. Uh, what we're going to look for, as you see these checker backgrounds, this checker background here means that I can use a different background other than this checker marks. It's, uh, it's transparent. So uh, we're going to go to save image. I'm going to type in Sam, Samurai. Make sure it saves as a PNG. Now we're going to add a picture. So adding a picture here, of course, we're going to go into that folder that it was saved in. Again, you get to see my ridiculously messed up hard drive. I got so much stuff on there. Uh, I typed it under S, so I'm going to go down to my S's here. And we're going to select the Samurai. The order matters here. So order does matter when you are using uh, the Z Game Editor Visualizer. <laughs> Now, see, there's a, another problem that I have with this, and I just don't like the fact that uh, the background is shaking. It's not the right audio processing, so I can go, I mean, the right type of processing, so I can go and just switch to something else. So we're going to go through different ones, of course, until we see one that's work, that works. So I'm going to go and I'm going to choose color cycle palette. And from this color cycle palette, I'm going to do something pretty interesting here. Uh, the next thing I want to, you guys to get used to doing is using this particular tool. This is something that most people don't even use in FL. And it's called the Fruity Peak Controller. And what the Fruity Peak Controller does is something really unique. All right, so we had a Fruity Peak controller right here, and, and you can see this control right here. So what we're going to do is basically link this controller uh, to a parameter in this color cycle palette. And what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on it, and we're going to go link to, uh, link to controller. So what we're going to do here uh, from the internal controllers is we're going to go down to Peak Control, Peak Plus LFO. <laughs> Now that looks pretty cool. That's one thing I really like about it is that it's pretty cool. And when I set this animation up, um, you can see now that the background is flickering. Uh, you can m make some different adjustments here. Of course, you can add volume to it. The more volume you add to it, the more prominent that that effect will display. Uh, you can change the tension and the decay on it too. You can automate. That, that's another thing. Like automate these parameters. I, I can mess with like the position Y here and make it make him walk slowly. And mess with position Y. Uh, but we don't want position Y to be too insane. Just go ahead and create automation clip. All right, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, wave. Oh, damn, I already have a wave here. So it's already selected. I'm going to make a small point on the automation. And we want to make him look like he's walking more. So 
now that we have the automation drawn in and whatnot, uh, the next thing, of course, is text. So I know a lot of people ask me how to add text in here. So I'm going to go to text draw. And text draw is going to bring up something. And it already you see it says FL Studio here. So I'm going to go back into the text uh, area, this add content area, and type in text. Well, matter of fact, I'm going to call it trip, uh, trippy. You could, do, you could do letter stretching, of course. And that doesn't look awesome at all. So I'm going to go into letter rotation. Nope. Um, so we're going to go into glitch. Now, glitch is something really cool. I really do like it. Of course, you know, if it's too small for you, you can add size to it. And we're going to add some size to it. So now you see that you have text in here. Uh, there is color correction. So perhaps you want to color correct some things with your background here. Uh, I'm going to go and turn up lighter. <laughs> So now we, we have changed it into some other stuff here. So last but not least, of course, there is exporting. So it's really easy to find in FL Studio 20. They have this export video button right here. So from here, you can just go ahead and select. It will bring you to the screen right here where you have all kinds of options. So uh, now you're going to want to do uh, browse. Just hit browser, you know, and make sure that you're saving in the place where you want. You know, and you, I'm going to name this uh, basically... Uh, since me and Trap Monsters did this beat together, I'm going to name it Trap Monsters and Trap Tendo. And I guess I'll call it Trippy. Or whatever. Of course, you know, you can name it whatever you want uh, when you do yours. Uh, but the most important thing is this pre these presets over here. Now, you, can't, you do have custom presets where you can... Uh, select all the advanced exporting features, but I do recommend that you use some of these pre these presets right here. Uh, this 721 will uh, post this out and will post process this in 720 uh, HD. And this one right here is 1080, of course. And then you also have the 2K to 4K. So uh, the higher the the video quality, the longer it will take to post process or to bounce down or to render or whatever you want to call that. So I'm going to just select 1080. And, you know, I'm not going to go and use anything custom, of course. I want to bring your attention to this right here because uh, copy the clipboard is really important because then you can give credit to all the people. I do recommend that you give credit to the people if, you know, if you get something off a, Gif a Giphy or, you know, off of Google, find the person that did it and credit them. You know, it'll be it'll be helpful to the community. We need to give credit to more and more creators like ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And I'm going to background render. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to ask in the comments section. I will definitely look at, look at them. I want to do more Z Game Editor visualizer tutorials.